Welcome to July Set News. My name is Rob. And today, just like the thumbnail and title suggests, I want to talk to everybody because I get a lot of these questions, which is about taking profits when you're dollar cost averaging like I have. So let's just jump right into it, shall we? So the first thing is first is that, uh, again, I don't usually talk about the prices day to day, but very appropriate lately. So today it is, uh, it is Sunday, January 15th, 4.15 Puerto Rico time. And we're looking at, I mean, just a continuation of what's happening. Not like a big uh, dump off, but just going sideways a little bit. Things are up a little bit. Bitcoin's up 0.5, Ethereum 1.3, and so on and so forth. But over the last seven days, we have quite a run up. 23, 22%, 15%. And then the big winners like Solana and uh, Sheep, you know, Avalanche, 42%, 26%. And I'm sure Gala, wherever that is down here, was another big winner. So that's what's happening. And the question that I keep getting was this, was Rob, because I said, and there was a tweet that I put out. I said, hey, look, um, I sold some crypto and took profits. And this was on January 13th at 10, 14 p.m. And I said, look, we might go up 1,000% from here. Who knows? But I'll never time it perfect. That's not the point. And the reason why I took profits is because I believe in taking profits. And it's my rules the, underneath me. Don't invest more than you can afford to lose. It's all gone. Everything's a scam. Don't leave anything on exchanges, right? I'll give you three reasons. Uh, Celsius, Voyager and uh, FTX. Don't use leverage and take profits. Take profits along the way. So I did so. And it just coincidentally for this little mini run that we're having, who knows if it's going to keep going on. Again, it was on the 13th at 10 p.m. roughly. And here's looking at the chart. I mean, I actually did okay on January 13th at uh, uh, 9 p.m. It was at 21,083. So what I'm trying to show you in this one is that this is what I did. And you can do this any way you want to, slice any way you want to. I've been dollar cost at micro DCAing by buying Bitcoin, Ethereum, uh, Cardano, Algorand, some other ones like Cosmos and, and so on and so forth and Polygon. And I've been doing that for, for last year, even into this year. And there's a video and I'll link in the description. And the, and the, it was, the title was, here's what crypto I'm buying every single day and why now is the time. I put this out, I don't know, two or three weeks ago. So you can tell them this is what I'm doing. And just to show you how this all works, it's very simple. I'm just gonna take the last three weeks or so. And what I'm taking a look at here is, let's say 16th of December. So I was buying 40 bucks worth of Bitcoin when it was at 16,835. Not a lot, right? I mean, some people it is a lot, some people it's not. But I, mean, I bought 40 bucks on the 16th of December, 17th, 18th, 19th. You get the drift what I'm trying to say here, right? So I've just been going here. So what I want to do is just show you like what that would look like. So very simple. I just put together a nice little uh, snippet of information to help everybody else with this. And it looks like thus. So let me try to zoom in a little bit here, see if I can get this a little better. Okay. So basically, yeah. We're looking at December 16th. That was the price. And the price, 116,075, put 40 bucks in. The Bitcoin equivalent was 0 0.002 Bitcoin. Watch out, lots of money. And I just keep doing it, dollar cost average. I don't know when it's gonna go up. I don't know when it's gonna go down. So let's just take the time frame of December 16th to January 9th. Now I can go back even further, but this is just the basic thing, all right? So for me, the sum or the average of my price, my, my price basis for the last three weeks or so was 16 or 25 days, was uh, 16,782. That was the medium price. I spent $1,000 on Bitcoin. And I and the equivalent of $1,000 at this point would be 0 0.059. That's how much essentially I had accumulated, excuse me. I had accumulated all this 0 0.059. One Bitcoin is still one Bitcoin. But in dollars, a little bit different. So what I did is I took a look at, well, what was 0 0.059 of Bitcoin on January 9th? Or excuse me, what was $1,000 worth of Bitcoin? It was 0 0.059-5888, which is equivalent to today or the day that I sold it on the 13th. It was equivalent to $1,239, right? Okay, 23, roughly 23% increase, 20, 23%, somewhere around there which is what it had gone up to, right? So if we've done this, you got your options here. And what I did was I sold it all. And now people, some people say, well, you should never sell Bitcoin. 
You should never sell it. Look, if you look at the white paper, Satoshi Nakamoto, it's nine pages. We've gone over it a couple of times in this channel. And it says very clearly, there's a peer-to-peer -peer transaction. If I need to pay my bills, or I need to pay for something, or I don't want it, whatever it is, and they don't take Bitcoin, well, I'll just transfer in the money and then pay for it that way. And again, my goals are not your goals. I'm not harping on you to do this. I'm not your dad. You do whatever you want to do, right? So like, if you just want to hold on for dear life, and give it to your grandkids, fantastic, like I talked about yesterday. But if you don't, you want to take a little profits, this is what I'm doing and how I've done it. So I take that, and you have to understand, you have to, you have to cut it at this point. You say, okay, I spent 1000 I sold, and I got $1,239. Okay, so I made 239 bucks. Now, you can sell just the 239 which would be 0 0.011, Bitcoin and you get left with 0 0.048 or you could sell all of it. It just depends what you want to do. But what's great about that is that this right here, this 1,239 or 0 0.059, this just gets put to whatever you want to do with it. I personally just put it in my bank account. If I have something to pay, I pay it. But really what I'm looking for is just to wait and just to see. So if my cost basis is below 16,782, or that's how much the price goes to. All I got to do is take that thousand bucks again and buy this again, and I still pocket $239. Granted, it's not a lot, but the reason why I do these things, I've taught this a couple of times now, I don't want to get used to just buying all the time, buying the dips, buying some more, and buying some more. And then when the time comes for me to sell, I'm like, how do I do that? Not only how the technicals, but how do I mentally do that? I want to grease the wheel. I want to have muscle memory. I want to sell throughout this time. So when we hit this blow off top, which I don't know when it's going to come, 2025, 6, 7, 2024, I don't know. But there's some technicals we look at. We talked about this before in the channel. That is when I want to pull the trigger. And I can't do that unless I have a little muscle memory of what I'm doing. And then last thing I want to say is this, is that you have to understand that even though I'm selling, my dollar cost averaging still keeps going. On January 10th, I bought $40 of Bitcoin at this price. January 11th, $40 at this point, and so on and so forth. And even on today, I bought 40 bucks again at 20,696. Now, this would be great if everything keeps going up. If everything keeps going up, I've only taken a little profits. I haven't sold everything, but I've taken just enough to remember what it's like. If it goes down, which is the thesis that I have, and it goes to that point, then I'm okay. Because then I'm like, okay, great. It has gone down. It's a 16, maybe 17,000. I buy $1,000 worth and I get the same amount and I still got a little profits on the side. Great. This is gone. This is dead to me. It's like, it's like moving your thought process and going, okay, this is what it was over here. I've sold this part. I'm just moving forward. Now I have this part. Think of it kind of like, like a farmer, you're just planting your seeds, wanting to harvest those returns. And that's all we have. So I hope that clears up a little bit of, of kind of what I'm doing and, and how things are working. And I will just say, lastly, lastly, uh, this, which is I know people will talk about, well, you know, should I do this all the time? Should I, should I start selling? And look, you can sell. If you're going to sell, and this is not financial advice, do whatever you want to do. If you're going to sell, you want to sell into strength not into weakness. This is an article. The five days trading accounted for nearly all of S&P 500's losses in 2022. Five days accounted for nearly all of the S&P 500 losses. And they were just for this. Two were caused by disappointing inflation data. Others were triggered by weak corporate earnings and commentary from Federal Reserve Chair Jerome Powell. September 13th went down negative four. 18th, negative four. 13th, negative three, negative three. So just remember that the narrative will change. There are some scary things out there, but you don't lose until you sell. So if you're underwater, it might behoove you just to hang on for maybe just a little bit. And that's it for today. So look, if you like today's video, give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. We do these things every single day. Usually we talk about the news, but every so often I like to clarify some points so people can move forward when I'm talking about. But that's it. Thanks so much for stopping by. I appreciate you. And I'll see you on the next one.